I want to play a, cl a clip, Sleepy Joe Biden. Have a look at this. It's a train wreck of a press conference from yesterday. The president appears to forget the name of his own defence secretary, Lloyd Aston. I want to thank you both, and I want to thank the, the, the uh, former general. I keep calling him general, but my, my, uh, the guy who runs that outfit over there. Uh, I want to make sure we thank the secretary for all he's done to try to implement what we've just talked about and for recommending these two women for promotion. Thank you all. May God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Mark? Well, it's a distressing sight at one level, Peter. We know in that election campaign, the, the left in their Trump derangement syndrome, we're going to forgive anyone, anyone who was running against Trump. And, uh, you know, you've only got to look at Biden's stumbles out of his basement and the things he couldn't remember. At one stage, he couldn't remember he was Jill Biden's husband. Uh, he was struggling to remember his own name. And now he's forgotten this particular name. Um, the, the left will have to take responsibility for what's going on here. They, they put into office a guy... Clearly, they're hiding him from the media. He hasn't done a, a single decent press conference uh, as long as he's been in office. He's got his press secretary there every day making excuses for why he doesn't uh, front up. The reason is he's not up to the job. He's not in control of his faculties. The guy's obviously mm. got a deterioration going on, and it's a scary moment, I think, for him th to be the leader of the free world. I agree, Mark Latham. Thank you for your time. Thanks, Peter.